Justice Woodard, goaltender, senior, and Coach Joel Sheffalder. Please direct your questions to each of them. Sir, when you got your goal early in the third period, did you feel like, okay, that's, that's good, but if you know, if you have a long way to go, if you think you maybe overtime, what were your thoughts on the period wall out? Um, I wasn't really thinking about like overtime or anything. I was just more excited and I was trying to get through the third period like I knew we could stop them and just keep going and I mean I wasn't thinking about overtime but I just knew that we could hold them back and that we could win that game. Um, I was mostly saying it's like a once in a lifetime shot and like you it's lucky to make it to state and then to play to go to the state championship is awesome so just think of that and this is your one shot and keep going. <laughs> yeah um, I was really really proud of uh, how we fought down the stretch there. Um, Woody obviously played well. Uh, we had to kill, what, two or three penalties, and uh, I thought our penalty killing was outstanding. And the, uh, the grit level, as we like to say in the locker room, was very high. And uh, the leadership really took over, I thought, to kind of answer your question to Sarah there too. Uh, Sarah and, and number nine and number 22 and Woody, it was kind of their, their time there at the end. Yeah, I was really comfortable doing it. It was just an awesome game. <laughs> I don't think you were rattled either. I mean, even when the, they came in a you know, couple times with the flyby and gave you a little something extra after the whistle, it just, you know, you just kind of just held your ground and, and uh, didn't play your game. Yeah, we've gotten, we've been doing pretty good. They've My defense have kept them away from me all year, but I get a couple of cheap shots. and. <laughs> It was, a, it was a big relief. I could finally breathe after they got it out. <laughs> Same. So tomorrow night, opportunity to, uh, to play for a state championship. Obviously, you know, it's, it's a three-day grind. You know, and there's not a lot of, not a lot of rest. But uh, I'm assuming, you know, there are a bunch of coaches that would change positions before you guys are at tomorrow night. Uh, is that for me? Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we've got a lot of good team depth. Uh, I was able to play four lines a lot uh, in the first game, especially. Um, not, not as much tonight. We didn't match up as quite as well, and we had an injury to uh, one of our players that broke her thumb, so we had to completely shuffle the lines a little bit. Um, no one would trade the, any pains or anything like that not to play tomorrow. I mean, everybody will be excited, and I, I was just really proud the way we all of a sudden got back to where I thought we needed to be and um, as far as how hard we fought and, and how hard we worked and to see it come together about halfway through the game there, um, if not a little bit earlier, was was just a great sign. Does that have something to do with Kenzie's goal? Or where did that, that, where did you kind of get things back? Yeah, we go down to it. Our psych is pretty fragile. You know, that's where the youth starts to show. I, I thought Kenzie, uh, yeah, the timing of that was huge. And then I, I really thought that that gives a good jolt of energy. And, and I thought we played really well in the second period, which we haven't been very good in the second period for a long time. Um, and then the third kind of, you know, it was anybody's game, but it was just awesome for both. Yeah, it, it was a great adjustment for the kids. Um, that is not an easy thing to do uh, when you when you throw them out in the neutral zone like that, and they're kind of feeling uh, they they lose that security. And uh, Ian Prairie has really awesome team speed, and for them to hold the ground and then 
you know, believe in the angles and stuff like that and, and take away that space before the blue line so the D could step up was a, was a big, big plus for us. And I, I actually just, I, I want to make sure I mention our defense and especially uh, Brittany Anderson because I thought she was, uh, she was a beast out there. She's really strong. A beast for her is a, a great compliment. <laughs> and she would smile. Um, once we got going, I think uh, when David asked that about Kenzie's goal, then I thought we started to do it quite a bit better. I think in the first period we gave him too much space uh, for that first pass, and then we were too far away. Um, I think we adjusted pretty well there in the second. We slowly started to get that, that gap closed, and um, then, then good things started to happen once we tightened that up. Well, I mean, I was kind of waiting a little while. Jamie had to use his timeout um, just before that. Um, I was trying to buy as much time as we could, and then we got another one. Um, but I knew his top line had to come off once there, so we, we tried to wait it out, and then we had the six seconds left there. But um, it's never a, a great situation, but it sure makes for an exciting game, and, and hats off to those guys. They fought just as hard as we did.